Hello, welcome back. Picking up uh, right where we left off. We're gonna take a look around Good Springs, see what's going on. Hold on, this, this robot's rolling away from me. Hold on, I want to talk to you. Oh, <laughs> there was one more DLC that didn't get to show itself uh, in, the, in the last episode. There you go. Hey, hey, Victor. Hey, uh, Doc Mitchell told me about you. Look at him, he's a cowboy. You just gonna just walk into me? All right, look. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? Oh, thanks. Thanks for the... Here, we'll, we'll just start from the beginning. Thanks for digging me out of the grave. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. What a nice robot. So, how did you find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Hmm. Uh, do you know who those men were who attacked me? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. How did you end up in Good Springs? I moseyed into town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. I've never seen a robot like you before. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Happy trails! I've got a general store, got a saloon, some random houses. There's like a gas station over there too. More houses. Kind of, it's kind of a big town. Big neighborhood. Um, so I think the doc told us we should go see Sunny Smiles at the saloon. Hi. Easy Pete. <laughs> Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Uh, do you know anything about the people who attacked me? The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Uh, why are you called Easy Pete? Was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Okay. You were a prospector, like digging for gold and silver? Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging but never liked the term. Way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts, good money in it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, looting, looting, looting is good. I agree, I like, I like, we're, we're kindred souls. <laughs> Sorry, I mean prospecting. <laughs> Ever find anything good while prospecting? Nope, had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river but got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. Hmm. Uh, what's wrong with the NCR? Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Mm. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. Uh, what's the, yeah, tell me about the Legion. They're slavers, led by a guy named Caesar, or Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to <laughs> say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. Mm. Legion's got its strength back, 
And yeah, I think Ron Perlman told me about that. Damn. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about legionaries on the Nevada side of the river. So keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. Keep that in mind. Uh, what's so important about Hoover Dam? The dam powers a lot of New Vegas. And then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. Hmm. Uh, what do you use big horners for? Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off. Can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know anything about Victor? The machine? Harmless. No matter what Trudy says. She thinks it's hiding something. But I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. Hmm. All right, bye. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here. Like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Thanks for the advice. Let's head into the saloon. Hi. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> so, uh, said you could teach me to survive in the desert? Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. All right. Let's take a look around in here first. Uh, too bad we can't play pool. This isn't like a Yakuza game. <laughs> it's not just full of mini games. Oh, there are there are uh, <laughs> there are some mini games. Oops. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, bad. Oh. It's not a bathroom anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's bad. <laughs> See, the ladies' room is always so much nicer than the men's room. <laughs> There's some other people here. Oh, hello, generic good spring settler. Way too many strangers coming into town these days. No offense. Where's like the bartender? There's like an office. Could hack this terminal. We can sit. Uh, waiter? Hello? Man, can't get any service around here. There. We'll go meet Sunny. There she is. Hold on, I want to talk now, to the dog. See the sarsaparilla oh. bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Okay. All right, let's do some shooting. Shoot some bottles. Yeah, varmint rifle. <laughs> Shoot some varmints. Okay. Nice. Pew. Wait. It's like a little bit of sway there. That's the right idea. Look down the site. Try crouching down and staying still. Oh, It'll yeah. help your aim. Yeah, there you go. You get less sway. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. No, actually, that was what. it. I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Mmm, okay. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Sounds like a good way to get some experience points. <laughs> hey, let, let, uh, let's look at... <laughs> what other weapons do we got? We got like a 9mm pistol. We got a weathered 10mm pistol. You see, okay, damage 16. The Varmer is damage 9. So yeah, that's pretty powerful. This grenade launcher is 59, but we'll probably... We'll, we'll hang on to that for uh, important situations. That's only seven. But you can probably fire it fast. You can fire it faster than the rifle. We got these throwing spears. They do 31. That's pretty good. And we got a machete. We got a melee weapon. 11. Okay. 
Yeah, for now we'll just use this environment rifle. Seems like a decent long range weapon. We'll maybe switch to the, the 9mm. Here, I think you, yeah, you move faster uh, when you don't have a weapon out. Oh, you take a sip from your canteen, thanks. I think that's a thing for like, hardcore mode. Like the canteen is like an item. Which it feels like then, what's the point of putting it in hardcore mode? Like, yeah, Vault 13 canteen. Because I think it just gives you like, infinite water. So it's like, well then what's the point? <laughs> if you're just gonna <laughs> give yourself infinite water anyway. Like, mostly going along with you just to make sure your dog is okay. for geckos, she said. Oh, I hear something. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? Yeah. We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see hmm. if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Teaching us about sneak attacks. So like, what are they up okay. on this? You're on. Go give them hell. Or, oh, okay. Oh, okay. There's one over there. So here's yeah, Vats, the Vault Tech Assisted Targeting System. Uh, so this basically gives us like, uh, uh yeah, it's a, it's a targeting system. <laughs> uh, this basically almost kind of makes it like a turn-based sort of thing. So it's like, hey, if you're not too good at aiming um, in real time, you can always use vents. And then it'll basically... Here, I'm trying to... They're kind of like... Ah, oh, dang it. They saw me. Well, let's try this out. <laughs> Here. Okay, we can do two shots. Um, I just realized, I think... Yeah, you can't actually see uh, the bottom right of the screen. I'm sorry, my, my big head is in the way. Um, but we have, over there, we have like a gauge uh, that shows how much action points we have, uh, which we use up in vats. So there's like a limit to how much you can use it. Uh, also down there in the corner, here, I'll just move myself out of the way so you can just see. Here, here, there you go, there it is. <laughs> there's our AP. And then we, you got the condition of the weapon and then ammo. Okay, nothing too exciting, so. I'm, I'm just, that's where I'm gonna sit. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. But yeah, we're just gonna take some shots at the torso because it's 86%. And then we just hit accept. And it shoots. Yay! <laughs> oh boy. Oh, okay. There you go. Not too shabby, huh? Eh? Sonny? You see that? You see- You didn't see- You weren't even watching! <laughs> you weren't even watching! It's like the- Mom! <laughs> Alright, let's go. See? You're getting the hang of it. You There's didn't see. There's two more see. wells that still need clearing. If you want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Yeah! Should Money! Should more than a couple minutes. Especially the two Ooh, of ammo, us. Ammo, too. Thanks. Come with me. Let's go. Yeah, but we can also loot them. Gecko meat. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's not that great. It decreases your strength and radiates you, but I don't know. We can sell it, I guess. Oops, hold on. There we go. Oh, also a gecko egg. Looks like that doesn't have any use. You just sell it. Um, there's like crafting and cooking and stuff. Um, right here. This is why it's called Good Springs. Got water. I'm surprised, like, like why don't people just live at the well? 
<laughs> like, why is the well outside of town? Wait. Oh, did she just, like, kill those, like, off screen while I was busy getting distracted by water? She might have. Actually, where is it? She. In the bottom left, you can see her compass with our objectives. Oh, yeah, I can hear her shooting. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm helping. I'm helping. I'm helping. Pew pew. <laughs> Good thing you got me with you. Wait. Did she just like finish the quest? Yeah, she did. <laughs> Talk to Sunny about your reward. Our hard earned reward. <laughs> Alright, give me all your stuff. Wait, 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 wait. There's more? There you go. Oh, wait. I was pressing E. I meant to be pressing A to take all. There you go. Oh man, those geckos, huh? They sure were tough. Wait, those, like, wait, that her dog? Wait, no. <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> this isn't canon. Hold on, your dog is dead. <laughs> Confound it, Cheyenne. Why'd you no. have to go running in like that? You were supposed to stay. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to see me like. Hold on, this isn't canon. Hold on, do we got an auto safe? Hold on, we got we got to save the dog. We got to do that again. Hold on, we'll do it real quick. Okay, okay, we got to just do this. Now, see the size okay, yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. the fence there? Yeah, yeah. Take this and just, that's the right idea. Look down the sight. Try crouching down and staying. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. Yep. Yeah. But I'm okay, I'm in. Let's go. <laughs> New timeline. I'm just gonna go in and I'm just gonna just shoot all of them myself. <laughs> so that way the dog won't be able to get into trouble. <laughs> this is obviously the most important quest in the game. Well, I'm I'm a lot faster than you, huh? So you just put your gun away. You run faster when you put your gun away. I don't know how that works exactly. I guess because you can, you know, you can, I don't know, Naruto run. Your arms are free. What happens if I like sequence spray? <laughs> what happens if I kill them before she even tells me to? I guess I should wait for her to tell me to. All right, no, you know what? No, fuck it. Shoot him. <laughs> uh. Nice. <laughs> oh, there should be a second one, right? Oh, I guess I didn't notice what Everything was happening. Everything alright? Uh, yeah. Wait, what? Well, let's just finish this first, alright? Oh, okay. Cool. Alright. I guess, <laughs> yeah, we kind of broke the sequence a little. It's fine. Oh, nice. One hit. Hey, what's up? Yep. See? You're getting the hang up. Yeah. There's two more well. Okay. I'm with you. Come on. All right, let's go. All right, okay. So she went like this way. Keep an eye on the dog. Where's the dog? Okay, the dog is hanging back. That's good. The dog is safe. Yeah, I think the dog got stuck or something. This is perfect. <laughs> Here, do a little vats. Oh yeah, <laughs> don't smell vats again. Her, uh, hold on. Eh, whatever. We'll just wait, wait, wait. Okay, here they're closer. Uh, have to load for a second there. Oh no. How's it not dead yet? What the heck? What the fuck? <laughs> that was a strong gecko, Jesus. Here. 
What if, because this thing like fires really slow. Here, we'll, we'll, we'll bust out the big gun. It's for the sake of saving the dog. Wait, I just realized, did the dog go the other way? No. <laughs> also, she's almost dead, Jesus. The dog, no, the dog's still back there. The dog is still safe. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's a dude there. Come on. Hold on. I gotta save this dude. Or lady. There you go. Help. Hey. We did it! <laughs> Yay! We even saved this random person, too. Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you'd done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. Thanks. Yay. Yes, yeah, so there's like a reputation thing, so I guess we are we are now well known in Good Springs. Accepted. <laughs> Thank you. Is the dog still just <laughs> taking its time? Taking her time. All right, what's up, Sunny? Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Couldn't hurt. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Mm -hmm. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me and we'll get cooking. Oh yeah, we're gonna cook. Let him cook. Here, we'll get all the gecko stuff. Oops. Man, it is interesting, even... Wait, oh my god, I keep pressing, like, escape to close this, this loot window. But that just brings up the menu. In order to close the loot window, you had to press E. Wait, did I search all three of them? I thought I only searched two of them. Whatever. Okay. Okay, let's have a little drink. <laughs> we got bit just a little bit. Just a little bit? There's, there's Cheyenne. Wow, you were really lazy this time, but that's good. Because you're alive. Good dog. <laughs> we don't talk about that alternate timeline. Poking around. Maybe you'll loot those other <laughs> the other geckos too. Give me your meat. Don't don't take that out of context. Okay, so we're gonna head back towards town. So we'll check out that schoolhouse. Damn. Oh. Running low on smokes again. Uh, hi, Powder Ganger. Never gets old when something blows up. I mean, yeah, sure, I agree. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Take a little look around Good Springs. Huh. Oh, Victor's Shack. I mean, I guess I'm curious, what's a robot's house look like? Oh, we can sleep in his bed. Good to know. Also, we can just take stuff. Because he's pretty... <laughs> I guess uh, Victor doesn't really care about property. What you got in the oven? What's a robot cooking? A pilot light. I mean, I think that, I don't think he's cooking the pilot. I think that's just part of the <laughs> of the oven. Oh my god, I pressed escape again. Well, that's the robot's house. What does he do? He just, does he just come in here and just stand around? <laughs> I guess it seems like he thinks he's a person. I mean, I mean, he is a person. 
Just look at him. Howdy, partner. Howdy. Nothing new to say. Yeah. Okay. Happy trails. Okay, so the schoolhouse. So there were like some roots or flower. Oh, oh, there's a mantis. Here. Again, we're gonna probably save the 10 millimeters since it's a bit stronger. Let's use our, our weaker stuff first. Ah, you got stuck. Ah, you're stuck. Wait, uh oh. Wait, what's happening? Did I get it? Okay. There you go. <laughs> Mantis legs. Yum. Oh no, you don't eat those. <laughs> mantis leg and mantis egg. Oh my god, I keep pressing escape. One of these days I'll learn not to. Mm, probably not anytime soon. What? Are, what is this plant? It's like a pineapple? Doesn't seem right. Some kind of cactus, I guess. Hmm. Oh, are these the... Oh, these are jalapenos. Give me that. Hmm. Well, episode's getting a little long, so... Next time... We'll, we'll take a look at the, the schoolhouse. Our first dungeon, I guess. <laughs> I mean, she sent us here to like get some kind of plant or something, but maybe it's growing inside. We'll find out. Maybe there'll be more of those mantis. Uh, so, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.